First things first, gather up one and a half pounds of beef round steak. Season it generously with salt and pepper. Then dredge it in a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, making sure to coat both sides well. Shake off any excess flour and voila, your steak is prepped and ready to go. Now it's time to bring out your skillet. Heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Once the oil is hot enough, add the steak. Let it sizzle until it's browned on both sides. Take the steak out and set it aside for now. Next, in the very same skillet, add a thinly sliced onion and a clove of minced garlic. Saute them until the onion turns translucent and the garlic infuses its aroma into the onion. It's time to make the gravy. Add a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes along with their juice into the skillet. Pour in half a cup of beef broth and add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Stir everything together until it's nicely combined. With your gravy ready, return the steak to the skillet. Spoon some of the tomato mixture over the steak, cover it, and let it simmer over low heat. This should take about one and a half to two hours. The end result should be a steak so tender, it practically melts in your mouth. Before you serve, check the seasoning. Feel free to add more salt and pepper if needed. Then, plate up the steak and spoon the tomato gravy over the top. Typically, this dish is served with mashed potatoes or rice, perfect for soaking up the flavorful gravy. Please let me know in the comments below how this recipe turned out for you. As always, the recipe is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Help Magnolia Moon reach 1,000 subscribers.